Welcome to this video tutorial covering the JobLogic Custom Form Designer. In this video we will be covering the steps that were followed to create the example form being displayed now. The Custom Form Designer has many features and functions. After viewing this video you will know the basic steps that are required to create your own custom forms in JobLogic. To get started, click on Settings. Then on Electronic Forms. Click the Add Custom Form button. The custom form screen will be displayed. Enter a description for the custom form you're creating. This description is visible to the engineer when accessing the form from the JobLogic mobile application. Next select the option of where the form is available to the engineer to complete. This can either be from the visits or the assets screen only or available from both of these screens. In this example the form is completed for the visit only. Select the visits option to configure this. The first question on the example form is asking if any additional works are required. The radio group question type is suitable for this type of question. Simply click on radio group within the toolbox menu and the question will appear in the page. Overtype the question wording as being shown now to update the text that will be presented to the engineer. Whilst it is possible to edit the choices for the question in the same way it is suggested to do this via the edit screen as the value for the choice can be updated at the same time as updating the text. You will see in the later stages of this video when creating the form output that the value for certain question types is key in controlling the look and feel for certain types of output on your form. In this example we are updating the available choices for this question to yes and no. The next question is asking the engineer to detail the additional works required. Click on comment within the toolbox menu and the question will appear in the page below the previous question added. Overtype the question wording as being shown now to update the text that will be presented to the engineer. The final question on this form allows the engineer to detail the description and quantity of any parts required for the additional works to be completed. The Matrix Dynamic Rows Toolbox option is ideal for this type of question. Click on Matrix Dynamic Rows within the Toolbox menu to add this question to the form. Overtype the question wording as being shown now to update the text that will be presented to the engineer. Click the Edit button to access the options to update the columns within the matrix. Scroll down to the Columns section and click on it to expand the section. Click on the cell type drop down to change the type of data you require for the selected column. In this example single input is being selected as we want the engineer to be able to manually type in a part description and quantity. Update the name to be displayed for the column and repeat the steps for the second column. Click on the button with the red square and white cross to remove any unwanted columns from the matrix. Click the OK button to close the edit screen. To test the questions added to the form click on the test survey tab. In this tab you can check the questions appear as you expect and confirm they have the required answers available for selection. To test the form from the mobile application you will need to save and deploy the form and add a form from an active visit on a job. To do this, click the save button. Click the drop down button to the right of the save button to access the save and deploy option. You are prompted to confirm you have finished making the required changes to the form and are instructed that a new version will need to be created if you need to make changes to the questions and answers after completing this step. Click the Yes, I'm finished button to continue. You can now access the report designer to create the required output for the custom form. Click on the report designer button to start this process. The report designer screen will load, within this screen we can design the layout for our custom form using many different types of components, including text boxes, images and data fields. We will now go through the steps required to produce the output of this custom form example. It is good practice to use the bands function of the report designer to ensure you have full control on the layout of your form. To add a band to the form click on the insert tab and then click the bands menu option. There are many different band types you can add to the report, in this example we are selecting the data band. Once selected, simply click in the page and the data band properties window will appear. Click OK on the default not assigned option to continue. You can resize the band as required as being shown now. To add your logo to the form, 
right-click on the Resources option in the Dictionary tab and select New Resource. The New Resource window will be displayed. Click on the Folder button to open your File Explorer and select the required image file. Select the Available in the Viewer checkbox and then click the OK button. Click on Image in the Components section of the Insert tab and then click in the Report to display the Image Properties window. Select the required image from the Gallery section and click OK. Click on the Properties tab to access image properties such as Aspect Ratio and Image Stretch. Setting these options allow you to control how the image is displayed on the form output. To add the job number to the form click the text component and click in the page. The text properties window will appear. Type in the required label and click OK. Click on the Home tab to access font size and style options as being shown now. Copying and pasting an existing component is a quick and simple way to create your desired output. Either right-click on the component and select the Copy option as being shown now or use standard keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste as required. Double-click on a text component and select Data Column in the right-hand menu. Expand the required section and double-click on the required data field to select it as being shown now. As you can see, by using the Copy and Paste method you can quickly add the required text labels and data fields to your form output. To display a tick or a cross against a question with a yes or no answer click on the Insert tab, select the Components option and then select the Checkbox option. Click in the page to add the checkbox to the output. In the Properties tab click the Edit icon to the right of the checked field to open the Text Properties window. Select Data Column in the right-hand menu and expand the Table 1 section to select Question 1 from the questions added earlier. Double-click on the question to select it. You can select the required styles for the true or false outputs using the drop-down fields as being shown now. Select the yes-no option from the values drop-down field to match the possible answers configured against question 1. Copy and paste an existing text box from the form to display the answer to question 2. As this answer may contain a large amount of text it's advisable to set the word wrap property against this component to ensure all of the text is displayed on the output. The options available to set this property are being shown now. Adding the dynamic matrix output is achieved in a slightly different method. Select the dictionary tab in the left hand menu and expand the mobile form header data source. Drag and drop the dynamic matrix question onto the page and select the required columns and options as being shown now. The table automatically positions under the data band. If a data band had not been added to this form it would position at the top of the page output hence the suggestion to add data bands to assist with controlling the layout of your custom form output. To add the engineer signature to the form output simply click the image component and click in the page. In the Image Properties window select the Data Column option in the right-hand menu and select the Engineer Signature field from the Job Signatures section. 
set the image stretch and aspect ratio options to ensure the signature is displayed correctly in the image component drawn on your form output. Click on the preview tab to review the output built. Click on the save icon to save the form. You can leave the suggested file name and simply click the save button in the save window. Check the saved file pop-up message appears before closing the tab. You can now test a form from the mobile application and view the completed results within the form's logbook screen within JobLogic. That concludes this tutorial video on the custom form designer. Thanks for watching.